always a great day here at ISF when we get to have our friends from Agape. Of course, you aren't just a wonderful organization, but you're also our mental health trusted advisor. George Mavrukas, welcome back to ISF. How you doing? How's your day? <laughs> it's great now that you're here. Yeah, right. Always fun having you in studio, more than just because, you know, we have some good chemistry, but yes. because we get to talk about incredible issues like today, vulnerability, yes. showing our strength actually in our weaknesses. Yes. What's your opinion on this? This is one of my most passionate topics, vulnerability, right? Having the ability to connect with people is the ability to be vulnerable, right? If we think, especially from a leadership perspective, not only for myself, but for the team at Agape, we have to show people that we're human, right? And we do have our day-to-day -day struggles. But through sharing the vulnerability is how we make real connection. Where have you found breakthrough in your own life in doing this? <laughs> That's a great question. Um, <laughs> we're getting vulnerable. Yeah, Come on we're now. We're <laughs> getting very vulnerable. So I think that growing up as a Greek American in, from New Jersey, where we don't talk about our emotions and men show only strength and we don't cry and they don't hug that much, I think that the evolution of who I am today is different than who my grandfathers were and the evolution of who I want my son to become one day is the real inspiration to continue to push me to be able to show him, right? Because it's easy to be a husband, a dad, a leader, an authority figure, wherever you are in life and tell everybody, I'm good, I got it, I'm the man, I'm the best. But it's very difficult to be vulnerable and say that you're struggling with something and still feel powerful, right, mm. as a man. So. It has that, you know, that balance there where you're trying to figure out how do we do it and how do we walk it, right? So how do we do it? How, how do we break that barrier yeah. and actually be vulnerable? Yeah. So you have to be authentic, right? And you can't, and you can't be scared, right? So when we're living in a fear-based mentality, in a fear-based environment, or even in a perspective, I think that we're not allowed to be strong and we can't share, right? So there is strength in being sad. There is strength in being scared. There is strength in being weak during that moment. That doesn't mean we have to stay there. It just means that we're being honest and we're being authentic in saying that and having the ability for me to tell you, Cam, I was really scared and you not thinking that you're gonna make fun of me or think that I'm not a strong man anymore, right? allows us to have a better relationship or a better connection and form more trust. Mm. Psychological safety. Yeah. I love it. I love it. I, I always say that it's okay to not be okay, but yes. let's get you back to being okay, if not better. Of course. Very true. And just the ability to share that connection with somebody yeah. and that trust is what builds a greater bond. So beautiful. Well, George, this is just one of the many incredible topics that you guys talk about at Agape and so many of your resources as well. So where can we go for more information? We're just going to go right to the website at agapebhc.com. I love it. ISF, y'all go check it out. And George, thanks for hopping back in the studio today. Good to see you. Good to see you too.